Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Destiny video. It's Friday, it's Zero Day, which of course means I'm back to tell you guys where you can find Zero, which is opposite the speaker this week. And of course, what he has for sale and whether or not any of those items are worth purchasing. Also, if you guys missed any of the Destiny 2 leaks yesterday, then I will leave a link to a video in the description box down below. Basically, a promotional poster leaked and it potentially hints at the release date, the beta, and of course, just the general key art as well. So if you guys missed that, do check it out. It is pretty hype. Even though it hasn't been officially confirmed yet, it still does not slow down the hype train. But either way, you're here for Zur, so let's get started. Of course, if you do enjoy this, if you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated. Any questions, drop them down below. But kicking things off, usual exotic warning, do not buy legacy engrams, they are a waste of time. Enough said. ACD Zero Feedback Fence Exotic Gauntlets. The main perk on this is that taking damage from a melee attack deals damage in an area around you. Interesting kind of thing to think about is that of course because Crota's End will be the next raid to do next week, that'll be the first one in the weekly raid playlist when Age of Triumph drops, this actually did have some value during the first part of Crota's End Raid. So if you haven't got it, maybe consider it, but either way it also gives you increased reload speed with hand cannons and increased melee attack speed. This one has a discipline strength roll of 57, 51 when maxed respectively. And comparing that to the min max values, the lowest you'll ever see this is with 34 discipline and 34 strength, and the highest is 58 discipline and 92 strength. Moving over to the Hunters, Graviton Forfeit. The main perk on this is that it grants you Shade Step, you also gain bonus super energy on grenade kills, and your shield starts recovery immediately after all pickups. This one has an intellect discipline roll of 6260 when maxed respectively. And if you compare that to the min max values, the lowest you'll ever see this is with 38 in both, and the highest is 104 intellect and 65 discipline. As for the Warlocks, you have the Heart of Praxic Fire exotic chest piece. The main perk on this is that when Radiance is active, you get increased agility and decreased ability cooldowns. On top of that, it also increases the amount of auto rifle ammunition you can carry and reduces incoming solar burn damage. This one has a flat discipline roll of 130 when maxed. And if you compare that to the min max values, the lowest you'll ever see this is with 51 and the highest is 138. Moving on from there to the exotic weapon this week, it is an Arc Machine Gun Thunderlord. This is a very good weapon. If you haven't got it already, then I recommend you pick it up. I appreciate by now most people do have it. It deals arc damage. You also have the perk Feeding Frenzy, where kills with this weapon increase the reload speed for a short time. And you also have Lightning Rounds, where this weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. Plus, it has one of those hidden effects as well. There are a lot of exotic weapons that have this. They don't necessarily call it out here. But it also does generate a firefly type effect when you land some kills. So enemies will basically explode and that will of course damage nearby enemies. So that is an additional thing as well. I've covered it sort of in my exotic review quite some time ago. But long story short, if you don't have this, get it. It's a very good weapon. So that is a top recommendation. Top of that, Curio is Plasma Drive, Stealth Drive, Heavy Ammo Synth, 3 and 10, 3 of Coins, Glass Needles, and of course... One mode of light for two strange coins and one exotic shard for seven strange coins. And that's it. That is your week in Zur. That's where you can find him, what he has for sale, and whether or not any of those items are worth purchasing. So as always, again, if you did enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Have a good weekend and take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.